Hello, welcome to Drill Softics. In this session, we are going to explain about the monolithic kernel. In the previous tutorial, we have explained about the kernel and the next type, the micro kernel. And today's topic is the monolithic kernel. So it is important to understand about the kernel and its types. So kernel is a very important part of operating system, also called the nucleus of operating system. So let's understand about the mono monolithic kernel. So what's what is monolithic kernel in operating system? Uh, the structure of kernel and the functions of monolithic kernel in operating system today. So these are the topic we have uh, explored in this session. Let's explore. So uh, what is monolithic kernel? So monolithic kernel runs all the basic system services like process management, memory management, I.O. communication, and interrupt handling, file system, etc. in kernel space. So the basic, uh, the basic functionality of kernel is that it handle the system resources or it uh, handle the system service like process management, memory management. So these, these are the ultimate goals of operating system to handle these things. While in case of monolithic kernel, the basic system resources are, uh, are I.O. interrupts and the input output devices and services like process management, memory management are handled by the monolithic kernel. So when we talking about the monolithic kernel, unlike micro kernel, micro kernel is a, a non single space address operating system where everything is connected with the application on itself. So every process and IO communication, memory management, all these services it create their own connection with the application. So that is why the operating system is divided. Its functionality is better, but it is divided. While in case of monolithic kernel, all these services are at one place. So there's only one connection with the application. So whatever the application or the system need, the memory management, process management, everything is handled at a single address space. So that is why in monolithic kernel, it is quite complex, but its functionality is also better uh, rather than we talking about the micro kernel. So in this type of kernel approach, the entire system run on a single program in kernel mode. So the operating system is written as a collection of procedure that are linked together into a large executable binary program. So as we discussed that micro kernel, the system is divided, not on a single space. Everything, everything had created their own connection. While in case of monolithic kernel, the operating system is written as a collection of programs, a collection of procedures. So that is why it is executable binary program. So they create the entire system as a single pro program in kernel mode. So while in micro kernel, everything is divided, there's, there's a kernel services and the user services are divided. While in case of kernel, in case of monolithic kernel, things are not divided. As a whole system is a deal is a single binary executable program. So everything is managed and everything will be handled in a single space address. So that is why its functionality is quite not better than the micro kernel, but it's quite good that the system is not divided. It is not a modular uh, operating system. So this is the monolithic kernel. Um, the system is not on a single program kernel code and the entire system is single as a single procedure collection of program and creating a connection amongst others. While we can see the monolithic kernel architecture, there's a hardware, we have the virtual file system, device driver, enterprise communication and application. So as you can see on the screen, this is a kernel mode. So in kernel mode, everything is handled as a single space address as we discuss. So monolithic kernel can handle these things and create a connection among hardware and application where all these services are provided to the application when required. So this is why, as you can see on the diagram, the system uh, representation is uh, quite clear that uh, everything is, 
is add, add single address space representation so the virtual file system the device driver the memory management process management are handled with a single space address so its functionality is not better than the the micro kernel this is because a monolithic kernel everything at a single space and on micro kernel everything is divided M virtual memory is divided the memory management, the process management, everything that create application that create connection with the application. While in case of monolithic kernel, everything had create their own single connection rather than individual, and everything is handled with the kernel mood. So that is the simple representation of monolithic kernel. So function of monolithic kernel. So in the pre it provide various kernel operations such as enter process management memory management, process scheduling, uh, also with the help of monolithic kernel, the execution operating system much faster. This is because that there is a single space address connection with the application and hardware. So that is why monolithic kernel, the, the, the speed of the system is faster than the micro kernel operating system. So as we discussed that this, this is the the ultimate difference between monolithic and micro kernel is that that it has a it has a single space and and the rest of the uh, the micro kernel have their own connection with the operating system and hardware and bridge among them so that is the functionality which is much faster than the other kernel types so advantages of mo monolithic kernel so the execution of monolithic kernel is is much faster as it handle a file management process management under single space address so that is why its functionality due to single space address its functionality is much much faster than the micro kernel so the process is completely under single address space in monolithic kernel so we talk about this monolithic kernel that it has a single space address so when one process is started, so it is a single space address. So the operating system know that this process is started and that is why it will be completed. This is because the operating system focus on these things due to the single space address allocation. So that is why the, the functionality is better. The performance, is, the performance of overall system is better than the other uh, types of uh, kernel. And we have uh, two advantages. If any service fail, its kernel, the whole system fail. That is why it is a single space. So when one thing is fail, uh, so the system will crash. Hardly to be modified. Hardly to be modified means that it has a single space address. So that is why oh, there are a lot of processes are running there. A lot of operation are done by the operating system. So when we modify it, so it may disturb the other process. So that is why micro kernel or updated easily and monolithic kernel is hardly to be updated that is up to the monolithic kernel if you have any question related to monolithic kernel write your query in the comment section thanks for watching